Let's talk about classes, inheritance, and the protection levels, the public, protected, and private. So I'm going to start with a base class. So my class is going to be base. And this base class has three different variables in it. If I do an int pub var, int prot var, and int priv var, then all these by default will be private. Now I can change what they are right here by using public to make this one public. And I can make this one protected by using the keyword protected. And then for this one right here, I can make this one private by using the private keyword. And what that means is that if I create an instance of this base class, then the public variable will be accessible. The protected will not be accessible and the private will not be accessible. However, if I use inheritance, then it changes a little bit. Well, first of all, let's take a look at what, what we can actually see if I create an object. So I got base x and if I use x dot, you can see that the only one that this IDE is allowing me to use is the pub var because that's the only one that is public. So I can use pub var equals 10. All right. Now, if I create a derivative class, there are three different keywords I can use to derive the class. So I use class and then I decide what my class is going to be called. So I'll make this one my public derived class. So this one is derived from the public or from the base class. And I use that using the word public and base. So what that means is that it's going to take the base class and it's going to use the public on that so that what it does with the internal variables is everything that is public stays public. Anything that's protected will not be, be any more than public and anything that's private will not be anything more than public. But that means that these will actually just stay the same. It'll stay as protected and private and private means that it is exclusive to this base class only. Protected means it can be inherited and it can be protected inside of derivative classes. And public means it's inside of derivative classes and it's accessible externally. So at this point, my pub var is public. The prot var is protected and the priv var is hidden basically you just can't see it. it is inaccessible all right if i create a another class class and it's called protected derived so this protected derived class and I use protected on the base class, then what happens is that everything is going to be at most protected. That means that public things become protected, protected things stay protected and private things, well, they're still hidden. So I've got this uh, pub var will be protected. The prot var is still protected, but the priv var is still inaccessible and hidden. So you can see how public, it limits it down to at most public. And this one limits it down to at most protected. So as you might guess, if I were to take this class right here and do private, derived private base then what ends up happening is this pub var at most is private so pub var is private which means this is the last place it can be used anything else that drives or anything that, that uses this will not be able to see it the prot var is also private.
private and the priv var is still hidden. So what this means is that if you were to have another class that inherited from private derived, then the private derived class or the one that re derives from or inherits from private derived would have nothing available because all the private ones would be hidden and the hidden ones would be hidden. So this should give you an idea of how the inheritance works. If we want to go ahead and test some things out, if I use uh, a public pub public if I spell public correctly, public drive, and I'll call this uh, x2, and I do a protected derived x3, and then a private derived x4. Then you can see the x2, the only thing you can access right here externally is pubvar. And the reason I can only do that one is because I am creating instance of the class and so I cannot use the protected values inside. However, this uh, protected derived can do things like set values of the protected variables. So that's the only one I can do. The, if I use the X3, you can see that right here I try doing something like uh, private and it's it says well you can't do that it's basically saying they are all well hidden I can't use my pub var as well either because that also is unavailable because it gets turned into protected which means it's basically internally private so there's nothing I do there if I use the x4 once again, I can't use the pub var. I can't use any of the other ones because they're all unavailable externally. Internally, however, I still can use public and protected internally. And the base class can use all three, public, private, and protected, all of them just fine. So when you use inheritance, you use a keyword either public protected or private to indicate what level you're going to bring the variables across as and minimize or reduce their level to that at the most. So there you go, inheritance.